China may have solved a century old problem in computing with a new chip that's said to be thousand times faster than Nvidia's best GPUs. So here is what happened. Researchers at Peking University have built a new analog chip and it could change everything about how computers work. Right now, all of our computers use digital processing, which means they handle information in zeros and ones. It's powerful, but it takes time and lot of energy, especially for AI and large calculations. But analog computing works differently. Instead of using zeros and ones, it processes information as continuous electrical signals, sort of like how our brain works. It's much faster and more energy efficient. The problem is analog chips have never been very accurate. They are super fast, but they have small mistakes that add up. Scientists have been trying to fix that for nearly 100 years until now. The Chinese team says they have cracked the code by using something called RRAM or resistive random access memory. This special type of memory can store and process data at the same time. That means the chip doesn't need to move data back and forth like digital chips do. It just thinks and stores in one place. They also built a smart system inside the chip. One part does fast rough calculations and another part checks and fix the results. That makes it both quick and precise. In tests, the chip handled complex problems that normally take hours for a GPUs in just a few minutes. It's also about a hundred times more energy efficient, which is huge for AI, 6G networks and data centers. What's even more exciting is that the chip was made using regular manufacturing methods. That means it could actually be mass produced, not just stuck in a lab. Of course, it's still early. Analog systems can be hard to scale up and they can be sensitive to electrical noise. But if this works as promised, we might be looking at a whole new era of computing. One that combines analog speed with digital accuracy. So yes, after a hundred years, analog computing might finally be making a comeback and it could even leave our fastest GPUs in the dust. Thank you for watching.